in a walled garden, locked and abandoned for a hundred years, a dark secret stirs. Hi, I'm Kate Morton, author of The House at Riverton, which won the Richard and Judy Summer Read Award last year. And I'm delighted to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about my new book, The Forgotten Garden. The Forgotten Garden starts on the eve of the First World War, when a little girl is found sitting atop a suitcase on an empty wharf. A mysterious woman she knows only as the authoress has promised to take care of her, but the authoress has disappeared without a trace. Almost a century later, a young Australian woman called Cassandra comes into an unexpected inheritance. Cliff Cottage and its forgotten garden, in the grounds of the strange and beautiful Blackhurst Manor, are notorious amongst the Cornish locals for the secrets they hold. Secrets about the doomed Mount Trochet family and their ward, Eliza Makepeace, a writer of dark Victorian fairy tales. But it is at Cliff Cottage that Cassandra will finally uncover the truth about the family and solve the century-old mystery of a little girl lost. I absolutely loved writing The Forgotten Garden. It was such a pleasure to disappear inside my very own cottage, high on a Cornish cliff top, and to discover the secrets and mysteries concealed in its hidden garden, locked and abandoned for a hundred years. I drew on a lot of personal inspiration when I was writing The Forgotten Garden. Just like one of my characters, on the night of her 21st birthday, my grandmother found out she wasn't really who she thought she was. This secret so affected her that she didn't tell another soul until she was an old lady and finally confided in her three grown-up daughters. I was always fascinated by this story and I wondered how a person might go about putting back together the pieces of their life. I was also told lots of stories of family members migrating to Australia from Europe. One day, as I listened to such stories, I had an image from nowhere of a little girl sitting atop a small white suitcase on a deserted wharf. Who was she? Where had she come from and why was she alone? And what future awaited her if she couldn't remember any of these things and if no one from her past came looking for her? I even wrote my own house into the Forgotten Garden. The house that I live in is one that I found myself bidding for at auction quite unexpectedly. There was something about the tumble-down weatherboard house that I found compulsive. Tucked into the Paddington hillside, hunkering down behind the huge antique centre on the ridge, the house looked like the sort of place that had witnessed a lot of secrets. It was also the perfect location for my character, a second-hand dealer, with a lot of secrets and mysteries of her own, to live. Along with such personal inspiration, I couldn't help but draw on a few of my favourite things. There's an English country estate called Blackhurst, darker than Riverton, perched on a clifftop on the Cornish coast. There's an abandoned cottage with a chequered past. And there's a hidden garden, sealed up and forgotten for almost a hundred years. All the ingredients to keep you feverishly turning pages long after the lights should be out. I hope you enjoy getting lost in the Forgotten Garden. The Forgotten Garden the stunning new novel by best-selling author Kate Morton.